Hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Amit and I hope you all are doing great. So today in this video we will discuss an Android interview questions and as you know this video is a part of the series Android interview questions and answers and for that you can find the playlist link in the description below. For today the question is what is an open keyword in Kotlin? Now it's time to discuss the answer. So first of all let's try to understand where we can use the open keyword. So basically we can mark a class or a function or a variable with the open keyword. As you can see that here we have the class mentor and what we are doing here we are marking this class with an open keyword. Similarly we have the function here guide and here you can see that we are marking this function with the open keyword again. Similarly, we have the variable here and here you can see that again we are marking this variable with the open keyword. We can mark a class or a function or a variable with the open keyword. So now we will take the example one by one for the class, for the function and the, for the variable and we will try to understand why this open keyword is needed at all. Now we are going to start with the open keyword with class. The open keyword with the class means the class is open for the extension meaning that we can create a subclass of that open class. In Kotlin all the classes are final by default. It means that they cannot be inherited. Suppose we have the class mentor like this and now we need to create the subclass for that. Right. So what we will do? We will write like this class experience mentor and we will extend the mentor class. Right. But what will happen with this? The compiler will show an error. It will say that this type is final so it cannot be inherited from. Why? Because this class is final by default. So we cannot extend this class. So basically we cannot create a subclass for this mentor class because we haven't used the open keyword. So in Kotlin the classes are final by default. And that's why the compiler will show an error. This type is final so it cannot be inherited from. And now if we want to allow the inheritance, we need to mark the class with the open keyword. So basically opening it for the extension. Now by adding the open keyword before the mentor class. So basically we are marking this class with the open keyword now. Now we will be able to create the subclass of this class. So now the compiler will not show any type of error and it will work perfectly. So here if you notice the things are completely opposite to what we used to do in Java. Right. So let's see the difference. So this is a table. In the Java we used to write final class mentor. Corresponding to that in Kotlin we will write class mentor. That's it because the classes are default final in Kotlin. So they are final by default. In Java we write class mentor and in Kotlin if you want that class to be not final right. In that case we will use the open keyword so that we can create the subclass of this. And in Java we don't have by default final right. So this is simply we can write in Java but in Kotlin we will have to write the open keyword so that we can create the subclass of this. Perfect. Now it's time to learn about the open keyword with function. Very similar to that here as well by default the functions are final. So let's say we have the open keyword used over the class but we haven't used that over the function. Right. So it means that we can simply create the subclass of that mentor class. Right. And this is perfect. So experience mentor and mentor. But when we are going to override this guide function so we can write like this. But again this will so an error and what will be that error guide in mentor is final and cannot be overridden. So in order to again override the function because this function is what final function we, we cannot override this. So once again we will have to use the open keyword so that we can override the function. So now once again we will add the open keyword right here over the function. Now as we have written over the function now we can simply override the function right. So this will work perfectly again. So this open keyword is helping us to 
क्रिएट द सब क्लास एक्सपीरियंस मेंटोर राइट बट दिस ओपन की वर्ड इज हेल्पिंग अस टू ओवर राइट दैट गाइड फंक्शन राइट सो दिस इज Why we need the open keyword over the function as well? Again, in Kotlin, all the functions are final by default, but in Java, this is also exactly the opposite. In Java, to make the function final, we need to use the keyword final, right? But in Kotlin, this is completely opposite. So that's why we have to use the open keyword here, so that we can override that function. So now it's time to learn the open keyword with the variable. So it is also very similar to what we just discussed. Now again we have the open class mentor and in that we have written val slot sub level is equal to 5 but in the child class so basically the sub class that we have created in the sub class when we override the variable again it will show you an error and that error will be slot available in mentor is final and cannot be overridden so that's why again we will have to use the open keyword and this time over the variable as well right so once again we will add the open keyword over the variable and now we can override the value and this will work as expected now so in the experience mentor in the sub class as you can see that now we can simply override that and this will work perfectly and the compiler will not so any error at all and again this is also exactly opposite of what we used to do in the java language and that is why we need the open keyword in kotlin with the variable to allow it to be overridden so we learned about where we can use the open keyword and we also learned with the example that what if we do not use that what error will come so now we must have understood the open keyword in kotlin so that's it for now please like share comment and subscribe to my channel and if you want me to create more videos on some specific questions please let me know in the comment section i'll be happy to do it Have a great learning ahead I will see you in the next video